Hello, welcome to my office. My name is Rosa Morado. I am the principal of the International School of Louisiana here at the Dixon campus. It's a pleasure to see you. Buenas tardes, uh, mi nombre es Rosa Parado. Yo soy la directora de la Escuela Internacional aquí en el campus de Dixon. Y es un placer para mí recibir a cada uno de ustedes, digamos, a través de este video y poder um, hablar un poquito de lo que es nuestra escuela. I would like to, you know, just talk a little bit about our school. And if you see, I'm going to, sometimes I'm going to be switching from Spanish to English if, because uh, sometimes my mind, but minds of bilingual people who learn English um, as a second language when you grow older, you know, tends to switch, uh, code switch very often in order to look for the best words. And that's natural, that's normal. And uh, that doesn't prevent for people from being uh, efficient in communicating. So um, I would like to begin that our pillars are what sets the International School of Louisiana, a very different school from any public charter school is that we teach uh, through language immersion. That means that the students, our teachers teach our students through uh, the content, uh, the core contents, math, language arts, science, and social studies. And the vehicle for our students to learn content and standards based on the Louisiana beliefs, um, criteria for academic progression uh, is through French or through Spanish. Here at this campus, we have kindergarten through second grade. And you need to know that your child would not be learning English as a formal language of instruction to become literate or to be able to read and write until second grade. Our children in this campus begin the, uh, with language instruction uh, informally uh, through enrichment classes. So we have, we offer physical education, we offer um, art, we offer, uh, offer circles art, and at the same time, we offer music. And our, this year, we're very happy to let you know that our music teacher um, is uh, a music therapist as well. And we have added that as part of you know, our enrichment programs for some of our students who may need, who may you know, uh, draw and benefit from you know, her um, professional experience. So that said, um, in addition to the enrichment teachers, we have a support staff that help us guide our students through uh, with a holistic view of what education should be. And we have, for instance, our nurse, uh, Kim Harbo, who has done an, an excellent job, you know, in keeping our students safe and every one of us, not only the students, every one of us in our community, you know, through the vigilance and support of the COVID guidance uh, that our school have. Also our social worker who is amazing, Kelly Craven, uh, she ensures that the school you know, um, offers a safe and uh, positive uh, learning environment. She uh, works really hard and diligently with the kindness campaign and she involves everyone at the same time you know she works with me very closely on you know some of the programs that we have we are doing with the roots connected um, basically in terms of um, anti-biases and in um, anti-biases in the social uh, network um, of uh, cultural differences and or other type of differences that we may experience in a school that is extremely diverse like ours. Our school, our teachers come from 13 different countries and you can imagine the way that uh, we need to work together and teach our students. It's, um, it's a blessing, but it's one of the greatest challenges that we have. You need to know that in language immersion, you don't offer only an ability to communicate through a vehicle other than English, but French and or Spanish, if that is the third language that you would like for your children to learn. But actually, research has shows, and our experience has informed us that when students or when someone learn through a different language, you create a lot of different neural pathways in your brain that makes you perceive and look at the world with a different mess. 
And that forms an incredible plasticity, neuroplasticity in the mind of our students. And you know, one of the benefits of your mind having developed, you know, through different perception, um, engaging your mind in different perceptual areas is that you become extremely um, creative. Uh, you become really persistent because it's hard to learn through a different language. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And also it shows resilience. You try one time, you try another one, and failure is not a measure of um, not being successful. Failure is a measure for learning more and learning better. That is our attitude here. We experience that. We uh, have experienced learning a different language and, you know, and, and the implication of being bilingual. I think that um, as a mother, my two children were uh, raised in a bilingual setting, but I had to spend all my salary because in my country that is uh, destined only to a few people, okay? Uh, this is the great blessing of the International School of Louisiana that is public, that it can be available to anyone who wants to expand their horizon. Uh, not only communicating with someone else in a different language, but learning the perspective of others, being global citizens and understand that we human beings, independently of, from where we are from, we can communicate, we can understand, and we can work together to create a better earth you know, for future generations. So those are the benefits of language immersion. In addition to that students who learn in language, um, in bilingual settings or language immersion schools have demonstrated after, you know, fourth or fifth grade that the academic progression is going to be way higher. But you have to wait for, you know, for getting those fruits because initially from kindergarten to second and third grade, you would not see that growth. Uh, and I'm telling you, you would not see it if you compare that growth with any student, any other child who lives next door and who is monolingual. Uh, however, you will see the growth, you know, in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Our students in our LEAP scores have demonstrated, you know, superpassing other uh, students who have learned in a monolingual setting. So it's delayed gratification, but when we think of your, our children, our students, you don't think them to be successful tomorrow. You think them to be successful for 20 years, you know, to become independent, to be able to relate to the external world and to adjust to, the, to the, a diverse world. Because we live in a, in a world that is different because people are different, think different, process information different, communicate differently. So that is one of the things that, you know, I enjoy the most of working in our school. Um, I love to see the explosion of vocabulary by the, by March, you know, the kindergartners will be very fluent. And, you know, by third grade, our students are, you know, very native-like speakers, either French or Spanish. That's the other benefit of learning the language when you know you're very small in my case i did not learn english until i was 24 25 that i came to college and i learned you know to communicate through uh english and as you notice my accent is going to be always very heavy that is one of the advantage that um children who learn very small you know can pass as a native and i can tell you because that's what happens in our school um, so it is a pleasure for me to have been working at the International School of Louisiana for the past 20 years. I'm going for my 20th year, so I think that I need to start thinking in retirement, probably, I don't know. But um, I enjoy working here. I love our community. It is challenging and represents uh, always a, you know, a challenge to overpass and to become better because it gives incentives for you to become better, better person, better professional, better human being. So, you know, um, I'm very happy to belong to this um, community that believes in, um, in an education that is rigorous, that can be given through a different language, 
uh, can be given in our case in Spanish and or French that we make emphasis in diversity, uh, celebration of diversity in uh, linguistic immer uh, immersion in community responsibility. Those are the pillars of our school that is, you know, the common ground of everyone who works here is to have a deep belief that immersion works because we have seen it and because we sustain our beliefs on these pillars that I just mentioned. Thank you. Um, I hope to see you soon. Uh, our place is a small place, but it's full of love and gratitude to everyone because we believe that human beings, we work together to make this world better and to prepare our students to become competent citizens of the world. Thank you so much.